Jesus has done. This is on addition and subtraction of salt. In the previous lesson, we talked about how to simplify salt. So we are going to use the knowledge of that simplification to add and subtract salt. So we have root 32 plus root 72 minus root 98. If you look at this 32, the perfect square that can divide 32 here, we have 4. And we also have 16. These two can divide 32. So we are taking 16 since it is bigger than 4. So that root 32 will be 16 times 2, 72. The perfect square that can divide 72, 4 will divide 72, 9 will also divide 72, and 36 will also divide 72. Uh, 72. But 36 is bigger than 4 and 9, so we are taking 36. Then 98, root 98, 49 is the only perfect square here that will divide 98. So we are taking 49, then if you divide 98 by 49, okay, we are not done with this yet. 72 is 36 times 2, then 98 is 49 times 2. So square root of 16 is 4. We are left with only 2 in the root. Square root of 36 is 6. We are left with only 2. Square root of 49 is 7. We are left with only 2 in the root. So now we can add and subtract. 4 plus 6, 10. 10 minus 7, 3. So we have 3 root 2. So this is the simplest form of this expression. When the numbers left in the root sign are not the same. We cannot add and we cannot subtract. We are going to take some examples in the next lesson on that. Let's take the second example here. Root 3 will still remain root 3 because I cannot get any perfect square that will divide 3. Root 27. 9 will divide 27. So I have 9 multiplied by 3. 75. If I multiply, we can divide 75 by 25. It will give us 3. So 25 is the perfect square that can divide 75. So we have 25 multiplied by 3. So now we have root 3 minus square root of 9 is 3. 3 root 3. Square root of 25 is 5. We have 5 root 3. So three, root 3 is the same thing as 1 root 3. So 1 root 3 plus 5 root 3 is 6 root 3. Then minus 3 root 3. That will give us 3 root 3 as our final answer. So you can see that the numbers left in the root here are the same. Also in the first example. In the next lesson, we will take some questions where the numbers in the root might be 2 3 or 5 in the same question. Then we'll see how we can go about that. Thank you.